What's up, everyone? I'm Matt. No, I'm not. <laughs> Why do I do that? I don't know. I'm so used to hearing your introduction. That's just what it says. And then I forget and who now I am. I'm Matt. And I'm Kara. And this is Kara. It is. <laughs> Those are Carpeline Adventures. <laughs> oh and gosh. we are currently in northern Tennessee in Jellicoe, yep. right outside of Jellicoe in some yep. state park. Near the Kentucky border. Very near the Kentucky border. I can probably throw a rock and hit the Kentucky border. Yeah. But we are starting a one, two, three, four day trip on yep. the on the Kentucky Adventure Tour. We are with our friend Brad with Go Explore USA. This is his trip. He's leading it. Yep. And there's how many how many rigs? I think there's about ten or eleven. Wait. It should be a lot of fun. The, if you're not familiar with the KAT or the Kentucky Adventure Tour, mm -hmm. it's a one thousand mile route around Western We're Kentucky. We're not doing all that though. We're doing about three hundred of them. <laughs> yeah. And it is it's it's an adventure route, so it's a mix of of trail, county roads, pavement, very just scenic. taking you to some amazing places. So um, we're gonna have a blast, and probably roll out here very soon. Yeah, and it's it's good to have you back. Oh, thanks. We've Thank been you. It's, it's good to have you back sharing yeah. a tent together. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and a video together. I know. I appreciate everybody being here. Um, this is gonna be more of a, in my mind, a very traditional. Uh, what overlanding originally was in the beginning where we're not just all in the woods we're going to be going through towns and through you know back country and we're going to see some beautiful stuff and uh we're going to see some really old churches and you know stuff that you know places that people live today and you know, how do they make it out here like this you know but all right i'm gonna pull up here and stop for just a second let everybody kind of get uh all their stuff together and um then we'll start heading that way. Sadly, this spot where we have stopped for lunch uh, is not as trashed as it was last year, but it is still pretty trashed. Thank you, sir. Oh, got some Vienna sausages. Yum. I think the, the prize last time was dirty diapers, right? I think so, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Did you find some more trash? Yep. It's just, it's just all over the place. Uh, but for lunch today, I stopped at Bucky's. 
on the way up and got two of their brisket sandwiches. So this is one of them. They're even amazing cold. I'm not sponsored by Bucky's, but if someone from Bucky's is watching, Corp Bucky's corporate, hit me up. I gladly accept. All right, how are we liking the cat so far? Wonderful. Awesome. Very fun. Really good. Already got lots of variety. Yeah, that's very true. Mm -hmm. yeah, we do it all the six. Got that. It has a lot of variety of Friggin' love this Jeep. Just cruise just right up. How's the full runner doing? Good time. Carl's Raptor is having four wheel drive issues. His rear locker's working, but his four wheel drive is not. All right, we're going to bring the F 150 down and hook up a uh, kinetic rope and tug him up the hill. There we go. That's all we needed. Yeah! tires off the ground. There we go. Ah. Yeah, you're hot. You're not going backwards. There you go. A little more. Six more inches. That's all right, man. Sometimes you just hit the, you know, hit the line just slightly off, and it happens. That's what they're for. Yeah. Stay in it.
When's he gonna get a locker? There you go. Well, that was a lot of fun. Whew. I nearly just gave myself like two known teeth because I'm trying to take a drink. Here. Sorry about that, Matt. If I left too soon, I, I thought I saw you moving. Yeah, I really wanted a drink of water, Brad. That'd be great, Brad. Can we stop? There you yeah, go. Thanks. There you go. That's really <laughs> We're just waiting for Brad to clear these rocks. Oh. Oh, my lordy, that. There we go. Let's I've go. I've been climbing the hill since we left the camp for lunch. I know. People think YouTubing is easy. It is not. It is worth it. Uh, I see people in, in in comments talking about sitting in a couch. Just sitting in the cushy climber. cushy Jeep climbing these big rocks and stuff. They forget about the fact that we're also out filming and yeah. hiking up these hills 14 Getting times. Pictures of everybody. Uh huh. And doing yeah. Degrees, and then changing the camera angles. It's hard work. It's exhausting work. It is work. Now, for the people who are just driving up it, not so much, but yeah. if you're the there ain't videographer. There no elevators in the woods that nope. I've ever seen. Sure not. Escalator would be better, though. Agreed. Especially at that incline, you could just ride the escalator. I mean, at some points, I'd just be happy if I brought my one wheel, but you would not have been able to I would do not that. have been able to do that one. I just felt like the guy on the Let me know when you're moving, Bryce. I feel like going I am up. moving, but I've stopped now. I feel like I'm the guy on Price's Moving again. Right. Thank I you, sir. I feel like I'm the guy on the Price is Right, that little yodeling guy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Like the music I put in your last video when you were going to yeah, drum? Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I feel like every time I, I'm hiking up these things. The big red boat had to do a three-point turn, turn. Let's see if Big Booty Judy, the gladiator, has to do a three-point turn. Oh, yep, I sure do. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, hush. Beep, beep, that's a gnarly trail right there. Beep, beep. Sorry for the interruption. I am actually currently editing this video. You can see. Um, and I need a favor. Um, look down and, and see if you're subscribed to the channel, please. We have a goal of hitting 100,000 by the end of this year. It is approaching the end of September. We are at almost 84,000, so we've got just over 16,000 to go. And need your help. I know. Roughly 75% of the people that watch the videos on this channel are not subscribed. I think a lot of it's because of televisions. So you can check that even on a TV. So you just you just swipe down and scroll around the buttons there and you can see. So just do me a favor and check. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Um, we, we really like to hit that goal and need your help. Thank you. Now back to the show. Excuse me, Mr. Turtle, but you need to clear the road. He's got like four low engaged and lockers. Look at him. That's impressive. So you need somebody to get on the right side too. Whoa. What was that? Whoa. There's some nice ruts. I don't know how big that hole, that hole is though. Not very big. Maybe it really soft. No. Could be.
Nope, just a little bit. There you go. There you go. Piece of cake. There you go. All right. Beautiful. Well done, sir. Do I get to make taking the Toyota line jokes? <laughs> oh, the Ford F-150 is going for it. That thing's not long at all. Not at all. I'm sure that wasn't needed. Neither was that. Uh, nope. Mm -mm. All right, you're off to a good start. If you don't tip over. Okay, front's clearing. Now, if your back doesn't get hung up right there. Yeah, right there. That's what I was afraid of. Uh-uh. Oh! Yep. Turtle! Worth a shot. It's worth a shot. I'm hoping to make the check he's look bad. Okay. What if I just give it a little gas? The, uh, I mean, the odds of that little step right there just ripping off are pretty high. You know, how much do you like it? I like my step. Okay, well, I wouldn't I'm bump. broken already. It, the probability is high. Yeah, I think that's a good call. Come on, there we go. completely forgotten how fun this first day on the KAT was. I think that was the last technical section on this trail, but now Kara's being overly dramatic. And when we hit little bumps, like... Was that a bump? I don't know what you're talking about. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you can't help it that you take the really, really bad line. Uh-huh. We made it to camp for the night and we are in the Big South Fork National River Recreation Area. Danielle and Joey came here early. They've already been cooking dinner. We're having jambalaya tonight, but we made it and the weather feels amazing here. So we're going to chill now. We don't have hot dogs. We don't have fried chicken. We don't have, well, we do have a little pet food. So the bears should be safe. We have this entire area to ourselves. So everybody gets their own little spot. 
Everybody's getting set up. They got clothes to dry apparently. Now, if you saw my first Go Explore video in the Washita's, we had a guy on that trip, his very first time to take his Ford Raptor off-road. And right before that trip, he ran to Walmart and he bought a little ground tent and he's back. <laughs> and, and we are so glad that Carl's with us. And not only, Carl brought his lovely wife for her first trip out. <laughs> And he still has the same ground tent for me <laughs> almost earlier. Was it earlier this year? Do. Was it earlier uh, this year? No, it was in September of last year. Okay, so almost almost a year ago. So he's still rocking the same $30 Walmart ground tent. I didn't want to disappoint you. He did you. upgrade the mattress for his wife. So well done there. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so we're, we're super pumped to have it. That's the thing. I mean, I think I, I think half the people on this trip are repeat, are, are re, repeat, not visitors, um, attenders. So that, that's, that tells you a lot about how good of a job Brad does, that people, people just keep coming back, which is awesome. All right, wait, are the, did the clampets move in? What is this? What's up? You need something dry? Uh, no, but it's nice. My thing and laundry won't dry. They won't? Okay. Like Shirts. What's up? What did 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 uh, did you actually break? Did the, the CV actually break on the Ford? No. No? Nope. So you just went and bought one for fun? Yeah, just in case. Oh, just in case. Break. Was that the popping that we heard on the there obstacle? Is like noise in the left front. Was that was that one of the pops we heard on the obstacle? It's still working. So, okay. But I have a spare vacuum hub and an axle shaft. So All right. Well, good deal. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, we won't need them. No. All right. While I'm waiting for for dinner to get ready before I start opening my tent. I uh, want to introduce you to a, a new sponsor, if you happen to, to, to notice an addition in the intro there. Um, we, we've got a new sponsor. It's, it's All Roads Taken. And if you are familiar with the Jeep Badge of Honor program where you can run trails, get badges to kind of commemorate and you know re remember the, that, that trail um, and, and highlight that you've done it, All Roads Taken takes that idea to a whole new level. Because they, they not only have trails, which I've got on this side of the Gladiator. So these are a lot of the trail names um, that I've done. Uh, a lot of stuff that the Badge of Honor program doesn't have, like my Ozark Overland Adventure Trail, the High Watermark Trail, um, things like uh, Taylor Pass and Pearl Pass are not on the program. Uh, Chicken Corners isn't. Rim Rocker's not. Uh, just came out with a badge for the Kentucky Adventure Tour, so excited about that. But uh, so, so they've got all the, you know, they, they've got the trails, which, you know, that's awesome. But so many places that we go to, they don't have name trails, you know, unless you're going to, to Moab or Ure or, you know, stuff like that. Most of what we do is in national forests, like this trip to Daniel Boone National Forest. So they have national forests, the Rio Grande, San Isabel. Uh, Roosevelt, uh, Daniel Boone's on here somewhere, Washita, Ozarks, Medicine Bow, yeah. Daniel Boone, there we go, Daniel Boone. Oh, gotcha. um, they also have uh, national parks, so we've been to Rocky Mountain, we've been to uh, Great Sand Dunes, they have off-road parks like Hot Springs and S'more and Kansas Rocks, so super pumped uh, about these, and they're taking it to a new level with in the app they're going to have some some social type stuff and the ability for you to, to to kind of make a journal of your adventure so you can you know check in that you did the trail and you know, add photos add, add notes and stuff like that for your trip um so I, I just think it is a big step up from the whole jeep badge of honor program and it's not limited to jeeps so it doesn't matter what you drive you can you can commemorate your trip with the badges like this and and, and the the whole thing in the app. So uh, give them give them uh, give them a look. The links in the description. And don't forget, you know, if you need any any gear, camping gear, vehicle mods, that sort of thing, uh, check out Overland Addict. If you are in the market for a new a new vehicle, a new Jeep or or a Dodge or a Ram, check out Bolton Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. They're located in Port Arthur, Texas, but they ship vehicles all over the country. So give them a call. 
tell them that you you know follow us and see what they can do for you because they're great people uh sounds like dinner is ready so um and i'm not sure when this video is coming out probably right about on the time of the big iron overland rally so if, if this comes out right before that come it's a fantastic event it's the end of september and then of course go explore usa is a sponsor of the channel as well so if you're looking for you know, an adventure like this, and maybe you're new and want to get your feet wet and, you know, have a guided, you know, a guided trip like this, definitely check out Brad's stuff. This is some yummy jambalaya right there. Danielle and Joey did a killer job. All right, apparently dessert's ready. What do we got in this one? Cherry cobbler. Would you stop? And... The apple oh crisps. Uh, the apple was well, maybe apple soggy. It is not. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks delicious. He's your brother. No soup for you. Uh huh. Yeah, no, no soup for you. That's in my Dutch oven. Technically, I own that. <laughs> I'm about to throw the whole Dutch oven on you. <laughs> Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Well, we were just all peacefully sitting around eating breakfast. And Brad said, we need to put our stuff away because it's time to go. We got things to do today. Um, I think there's going to be some hiking involved today. Brad, is today hiking day? Yes, it is. Woohoo! Um, we, we got some cool things today. We got, we got a cool cave pond thing and a natural arch thing. And... It's today's gonna be fun. Oh, I see it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Bryce, what kind of Land Rovery things are we doing today? <laughs> We're what rebuilding. Of, what kind of Land Rovery things are we doing? I'm just adding some clutch fluid to my master cylinder. Because because they just they just leak or what? Uh, it's a new aftermarket one, uh, and yes, it appears to be leaking from somewhere. So just put some new fluid in there. Just just okay. Land Rover things. Ain't nothing. Talk to me when your truck's 35 years old. <laughs> I can't. I told you. I won't. It won't exist anymore. Mine this, won't be this cool at 35 years old. <laughs> but this will be 70 years old then. And it'll That's still be going. It'll still be going. Yeah. Well, the, the best owners of Land Rovers are mechanics. They have to be. Mm -hmm. The best owners of Jeeps aren't. <laughs> we are off a little bit late, but not bad. All right, let the fun begin. There we go. You, you may be wondering, because I was wondering when Brad first told me where all we were camping, why are we camping in all these established campgrounds? The reason being is because dispersed camping along the KAT is very hard to find and impossible to find for groups this large. So for a group like this, Brad booked these, pre-planned these sites in advance to make sure we have plenty of room and um, you know adequate camping for people and so we're not just we wandering around in the national forest looking for things that don't Thanks exist right. so uh, that's why normally we would disperse camp but not on the KAT that's that's very impossible Have officially crossed into Kentucky. We have entered the Daniel Boone National Forest. Look what I found. It's a little newt. Just like Monty Python. He turned we turned Bryce into a newt. Look at him. His name is Bryce. We turned him into a newt.
All right, we're hiking to, is it, is it Ethel's Arch or Ellie's Arch? I thought it was Ethel's Arch, but Brad said Ellie's Arch. I'm not sure. We're hiking to some girl's arch. Look to your left. More left. <laughs> you just walked by the grand amazement <laughs> of Ella's Arch. <laughs> I know, it's awesome, isn't it? <laughs> it's just, it's truly one of the eighth wonders of the world. I can't imagine how we drove by this three times last year. I know, right? <laughs> oh, wow. 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 Beautiful. All right, I'm super pumped. Bryce and I are doing a vehicle swap. So I get to drive the D90. And uh, I've, uh, it's been a long time since I've driven a manual. And it's been uh, exactly never since I've driven a uh, your dash looks like a display at Best Buy. There's so many knickknacks and decals and electronics up here. It's crazy. I'm off. I didn't even stall it. So welcome to Ozark Overland Adventures. I'm Bryce. I'm Kara. And today we're riding on the Kentucky Adventure Tour with Go Explore USA. Being led right now by Brad Brazel in his uh, fiery red Tacoma, <laughs> leading a group of about uh, nine vehicles behind us. It's a lovely day. Yeah. We're looking forward to bringing you along with us. Yeah, I'm excited to see what we have. I've never been out here. Have you, Bryce? I have. Oh, I pre-ran yeah. it. Yep. Oh, okay. About a year ago. Nice. I know Matt's been out here before, but he's actually back in the Defender because you, you sold it to us. <laughs> Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't pull through that one. Just not possible. I just swung that one on in there. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice try. I feel like I'm driving a piece of history. I also feel like it could fall apart at any moment. But that's the Land Rover Charm, right? Good. It's very smooth and easy. And I haven't had to shift nine times because people speed up and slow down. <laughs> like something good. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I don't know how he sees with all Sorry, of these. Sorry, we had to wait for the wildlife. Uh, electronics. There's so much. Crowding the dash and the windshield. Yeah, at you. Yep. Are you sure about that? I'm not sure you've had this thing on a dyno recently. <laughs> <laughs> the suspension is surprisingly soft on this thing. Like it, it's actually comfortable. I can't imagine that Bryce drove this from Mississippi to the KAT. On the, on the interstate. But, I mean, on trails like this, this thing is, it, it's actually pretty comfortable. I, I, I do see the appeal. He does have a nice vintage radio to go with the, with the, with the Defender. I think that's factory from whenever this you know, was, was made. Wow. Oh wow, this is cool. Oh, 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 oh. Just had a quick stop for lunch. And now we are taking a very, very short hike, like 100 yards max, to what we call the Nuke Cave. That's because when we were here before, um, Bryce 
and Danielle found a whole bunch of newts in the water. So we call it the newt cave, and it is way cool. The no newts? It looks like a mud bath. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. I forgot how big these bluffs were. That's cool. Oh, that's nasty Isn't it? Yeah, that is not what that looked like before. If I get seed picks because of this. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay, something had to have happened for this to turn into this mud pit. Yeah, well, we were thinking maybe because it's the end of summer that um, maybe you just hadn't had enough rain to, to wash out to wash out the, the, huh. the yuck there's definitely a lot of yuck yep. the ground is like walking on wet bad. carpet look at that cool spot isn't it yeah it really is we're on the move again I would never ever Call a gladiator a refined automobile. No. But after driving a Defender 90? No, it's still not. 100% refined. No, no, it's not. Oh, yes. Uh uh, that Defender 90 is refined. It's classic. It's that does not refined. It's very yes, sir, much refined. Yes, sir, we're all rolling. No. This it's held together by duct tape and bailing wire. Are you behind me? I mean, I am tailgunning. Perfect. Thank you, sir. But this has so much. Creature comforts. Bryce was like, I don't know how you see with all of the tech in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, exactly. Like. Well, this is all YouTuber life. So, I mean, Bryce has a phone holder and a, then a, doesn't have a tablet holder, but he has a big radio. His radio doesn't work. It's just there for looks because Danielle told him to choose something. Oh, really? And he couldn't figure it out, so he went on to eBay. It doesn't work? Like, he bought something. Like, <laughs> no. He, he, she was tired of seeing the hole in it because it has wires. <laughs> so he literally got it to cover it. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. We're at our last hike for the day. Split bow arch. Quite nice. It's only 0.3 miles. I think we got this. It was nice how Mother Nature just kind of carved those steps in the rocks. wants to live. Here is the split bow arch. Split bow. It's a bow. That's pretty cool. So it's like just two arches. We went to... Okay, y'all all kind of look like lemmings going down. That is a tree what? that desires to live. How do, how do, where does its roots go? It is firmly planted in the rock. It's not in the dirt where it's supposed to be. <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun and beautiful, and now we are stupid, hot, and sweaty. All right, so we're headed toward 
of the ravine. Um, it won't be too far now, and we'll have some uh, legit off-roading to do. Yep, the little. We Indeed, call it, we will. We call it the wedge. Um, it's a uh, it's a fun little spot. Sounds good. What do you tell? Now is this yeah. more of today's sarcasm or not? <laughs> no, it's legit. Um, me and Bryce both had the winch last time we did it. Um, However, Danielle would love for me to tell you that she did not. So um, that's a true story. Danielle did not winch. That is true. All right, well, we made it to what we call the wedge. Uh, we were gonna try to get the Gladiator in front of Brad's Tacoma, so there's a solid anchor point, because uh, this is very, very rutted. So Brad has open differentials. So once he starts pivoting, he has zero traction. Um, this is definitely something that favors uh, a rig with lockers, or at least some sort of traction aids. So, but uh, there's no way here for me to get my Gladiator around him. So Brad is preparing with uh, recovery gear in advance. So once he's up there, if he doesn't make it, he doesn't have to then do this up there. So playing it smart. All right. He's got to have momentum. Whoa! Ah! All right, made it up that section. job right there he freaking made it he just uh dug the rut out another six inches all right my turn i can flex my way through this if i don't rip off a side mirror in the process okay You okay, Kara? Go. Everything good? Just I may slip down more. Don't turn. Huh? Go. I'm going. Can you turn the rear more, please? I can't turn the rear. Okay. Don't slip into it. I'm not. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. Whoa. You're on my foot. You're literally on my foot. Hold on. Hold on. Don't move. Not moving. Okay. Go! Are you sure? Go! I'm good. I think this is no longer a safe spot. <laughs> okay, so so far you've been run over twice. Yep, twice. Uh -huh. So what we got? We got right here is where Brad was. Okay. I pulled my toes in. Okay. But then I was like hugging the wall. Uh huh. And you just kind of rode up my rode that there. Did you? Okay. That's my star tread right there. <laughs> <laughs> what you do for the so, job. Um, I mean, Milestar doesn't promote their tires as being safe to run over feet. But, but when they're aired down to 18 when, PSI, when they're aired, good? aired down, maybe so. Yeah. Uh, do not try this at home, kids. All right, it's time for the third gen Tacoma. And he is open to open as well. He has no A track. He has no. There he goes. Keep 
Picked up the driver. There we go. Come on, there we go. All right, doing good. You got it. Yeah. All right, we've got JK Rubicon, sway bar disconnect, solid axles, lockers front and rear. Should be a piece of cake. There we go. Looking good. Yeah, staying high on the wall. Nice flex. Looking, oh, there we go. Well done, sir. Thank you. Whoop. Right, turn back into it. There you go. Why aren't you driving? <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, there we go. Nice wave. There you go. Beautiful. Oh, there's a crunch. I think that's his CV, still trying to go out. Yes, sir. We got BDD in uh, Defender 90. Come on, Bryce. He's got much better tires than he had last year. Come on, come on. That's short wheelbase, man. Everybody made it. That was awesome. The two who had to winch ah, last year did not have to winch this year. So, big win. Apparently, oh. <laughs> Oops. What happened? If he had this much bigger tire, he'd be going. Cool. Hey, I, I lead by example. <laughs> I was actually on the radio telling everybody, don't go through this hole. You're going to have to straddle it. And then I fell in it. So you, uh, there we go. you are definitely in it. Yep, that's what happened. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, this looks fun. Yeah. I think you're just going to ride the notch out pretty much. Go drive her a little bit. Got it. This is my cheat code. 
I just put the right right in between the yellow lines and right on through. I think we've only got two more. I think we're good. You ready, Bryce? Watch your toes. I'm getting in. I know. Would you All like right, a ride? Everybody load up. That's yeah. everybody. It is 4.30. And so it is much later in the day than, than we expected to be here and we got a lot of trail left to go so we are airing back up the tires and we're just gonna take highway and just try to get to camp as soon as possible all right we made it to camp uh, this is another private campground I don't remember the name of it something river the, the Cumberland River is just like right over there uh, Danielle and Joey have been here for a very long time um, cooking dinner, We're having chicken kebabs and fried rice. Looking yummy. Apparently, we have architecture for dessert. Yeah, s'more dip. S'more dip. What's on the bottom? Just chocolate. So much. So chocolate. much chocolate. <laughs> so much. Look, I think one more. That looks like you got Stonehenge going on. Fit one more in there. There you go. Dun dun dun. Oh my goodness. That's beautiful, man. That's like art. You don't even want to eat that. I want to eat it. Yeah. All right, we're trying something new. We picked up this Kakadu Outback shower at one of the expos. And it is battery operated, runs off propane, dump it into whatever water source she got. And Kara's now taking a shower. And she's actually saying that it's too hot. It was really hot. Is it not anymore? No, it's okay now. Okay. I mean, it's hot out here to me, so. Yeah, maybe that's why I was, but it was really hot. Yeah. So we are, we're taking showers at camp. And this thing, uh, if you run this thing on high, it will run for four hours. Four hours worth of battery, four hours off a one pound propane tank. Uh, you'll run out of water before you run out of this stuff. All right, well, uh, Elise is now taking a shower. I just got one, it was amazing. Um, so we're about to start charging five bucks a shower. We're not. <laughs> so uh, this thing is it's awesome. The, the Kakadu Outback Shower. Ooh. But uh, yeah, we're we're gonna end this video now because we've still got two a day and a half left of this thing, and uh, it'll be a really long video if I don't. So Brad, come on, come tell everybody hi and bye. He's next in the shower. Oh, Brad's taking a shower too. Yeah. So today's been fantastic. It has been fantastic. Actually, yesterday was fantastic. Too. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. This is your we, white towel. We uh we have uh. Okay. We have some interesting video to show from today for sure. Uh, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so. For Ozark Overland Adventures and Go Explore USA, USA merchandise, go to shopoverlandapparel.com. Uh, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not. And if you like what we're doing and you want to follow along on our routes and get access to special content and special events and all of our GPS data, check out the Patreon link in the description. And we will see you tomorrow or, or next Friday for you. Bye. Bye.